For our next project, we're going to take a look at top-down design. So we're going to create this quick slider tool, and it's pretty simple. It's just a mechanism that has a block that goes back and forth. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to find the folder I want to put it in, and I'll say create, and just say document, and then name it. I think I will choose the top plane here. So I'll click it and press normal and go into sketch mode on that. I'm going to use the origin. So I'll start up here with the rectangle, but I'm going to use the center point rectangle for it. I'll just start here and I'll say, you know what? Let's make that five long. Enter over and press two to make it two by five. Shift E for extrude. And let's make the depth of this be 0.75. Okay, so I'll rotate that. That's how we'll start. We'll start with the base of it. What I am going to do is I'll say sketch and I'll actually go to the end of the base we just drew and press in for normal. So this time I'll use a, a corner rectangle, which is pretty normal. Go up over here. I know that the bottom's already two because I used the, you know, the previous geometry that was there. So I can leave two there and I'll change this into three. So we've got something like that. So when I look at that and I rotate it. I can go ahead and probably put the circle in there too for the hole. So I'll just come down here. I know that the hole, I want to say it was 0.5 and it does go all the way through. Now we do have some geometry. We need to figure out, let me normalize that. We need to figure out how far down it is. So there's dimension. We'll say from the top line to the center of the, the circle is 0.5. And now we can go ahead, finish the sketch. And we'll extrude this as well. So shift E. And I'll click both of these. Now the thickness on this again is also going to be 0.75. I'll go ahead and press enter to get the preview. Now something that's really key here. I want to press and click new. So that this is recognized as a new component. So new. And then I can click OK. If I were to leave it as add it would recognize all of this as one big piece and that's not what we want so I'll hit the green check mark here okay now we've got some fillets to take care of right here this is supposed to be round so let's see if this was two I'm assuming that these fillets because it was round at the top they're gonna be one so up here's fillet but shift F will get me there as well so Click fill it. We're going to click both the top corners and we're going to change our radius to be one. Press enter to preview it. And that looks great. So go ahead and check mark. All right. Next up, I think what we'll do is go ahead and create the axle that goes all the way through. Now we've got to do a little bit of math here because we know that this piece is five and this piece is 0.75. And we're going to have one of these on the other end. So 5 plus 0.75 plus 0.75 ends up being 5 plus 1.5. So here's what we're going to do. We'll say sketch. We'll click right here on the end of this. Press in for normal. And rather than just drawing any circles, I'll go up here and do the use command. So right here, project is what some people are used to be called. So I'll click it and I'm just going to say, give me that circle. And that's my sketch. So now I'll go Shift E and click here. I want it to go the other way. Right? So I'll go ahead and drag it that way. But I, I want to make this say for depth, that should be 6.5. And press Enter to get the preview. Now I remember I want to click New here as well. Because if we just click Add, it's going to treat this all as one big piece. And we don't want that. So New. And we'll click the green check mark. We don't need to really draw the other end piece. We certainly could if we wanted to, but we'll probably just copy and paste it. And we'll do that in the assembly. The last piece I'm actually going to draw is going to be the cube itself. So I'll say sketch and click the end of that axle, normalize it. I think I'll do the use command again. So I could also press U. But I'll click that and say, all right, let's take that circle and I'm going to go back up here to the rectangle and do the center point rectangle and this is supposed to be one by one 
Shift E for extrude. And that needs to also be one. So we'll click that green check mark. Make sure before we do that, though, that this says new. And we'll click the green check mark. So if we look in our part studio, we've drawn all of the parts that we need. Now what I'm going to do is actually go down to assembly here, and we're going to start putting all of this together. So assembly, nothing's there, but that's okay. We're going to go up here to insert, and it looks like all of the parts are there, but I'm just going to click insert and get the whole part studio. So right there, I'll click it. There it is. I'll click this green check mark. I am going to move the block off. And now you'll notice all of these pieces are independent now. So I'm going to undo what I just did there, put them all kind of back together. I'm going to leave the block out there, though. All right, so let's go ahead and put the other end piece on. So there's the end piece, right? It looks like when I click on it, it's part two. So I'm going to right click on part two here. Then I'm going to say copy part two. And then I'll come out here somewhere else in the part or in the graphic area, and I'm gonna say paste part two. So there it is. And I'll go ahead and join this up. So I'll say fastened, click a mate point there. I'll rotate this around, and then I'm gonna click the mate point here that it would correspond with. So that puts it right where I want it to be. I'll click the green check mark, and that'll that'll put it there. All right, so next what I'm going to do is group all of this because it really is just a fastened mate. So I'm going to click the group button up here and I'm going to select all of this and it all highlights and it says, do you want to group this? I'm going to click the green check mark. So that is now grouped. Now over here on the right, or excuse me, on the left, you're seeing we, we got a little bit of red here and the reason it is because it's saying, hey, You've got a fastened and we've grouped those. It's not really that big of a deal, but if it's bothering you, you can right click on fastened and just say delete. Then the red will go away and all this still is functional. I am going to do this though. I'm going to take the bottom piece of the base, so part one here. I'm going to right click on it and say fix. For those of you coming from other CAD programs, what that means is this part is grounded. What I'll do next is I'm going to put a cylindrical joint on here. Or excuse me, I'm going to put a cylindrical mate on here. So right here, cylindrical mate. Click the end here, and then I'll click the axle, and that is now mated. Go ahead and click that green check mark, or we could also, while we're here, put the... Uh, we could put the mate limits on it. Right now, our minimum, let's see, if we move this to 0.75, what's gonna happen? Let's press enter. That's perfect, it moves it right inside there, because remember, this length was 0.75. Now, for our maximum, let's see, let's go with like, let's try a five and see what that does. You can kind of see where it's gonna end. That's, that's gonna be a little short, isn't it? So let's see, maybe 5.5. That's going to be pretty good, but what about 5.75? That's just about perfect, isn't it? So we'll go ahead and click this green check mark, and we'll rotate it now. And now we should be able to drag this piece back and forth. And would you look at that? That's going through the other end. Hey, let's fix this. This shouldn't be going that way. So let's let's take care of that. We want it to end like here. So. I think what we'll do is we'll go back to the cylindric joint right here. We're going to right click it and we'll just say edit. Okay, so 5.75 was a bit much. Let's try a 4.75 and see what that does. So cylindric, right click, edit. And then instead of 5, let's do 4.75. Now just to test it, we can press enter there and we'll press play. And that looks like what we want it to look like. So we'll click the green check mark. Now, if you want to ever get back straight into the home view, you can press shift and seven, and it'll put that back in its isometric view for you. So there you go. We now have a quick slider joint that we really did use the top-down approach for.